Man. That's why most guys, that's y'all not the least desired because of beauty. Y'all the least desired because of that fucking attitude. Anton, imagine if both of them get to the gun at the same time. Now we got to argue about who going who gonna but shoot the multiple nigga. guns. There's multiple guns. It, no, it ain't. She's sick of this shit. Yeah. I would first, I wouldn't leave no gun around her. No way. She'll get away with it. Hey, she, hold on, TK. Hey, hey, look. What's your whole what's your whole point of having a man then? What's your purpose of a man for a man? What's your purpose? Um, a purpose of my husband that I've been with for 13 years is because we have a family, we procreated, we build in a legacy, being loved. Just because you hear me aggressive up here doesn't mean I don't know how to be a woman in the household. Just because you hear me say that it, I, I'm going to have my man back and my man got my back because it don't matter who jump up to protect the house. We got kids in this house. Let's not have your man back. You said you're going to sleep. You're going to jump in front of him. Having his back uh, is. I said we both going to jump up. Or, no, like, like, do you want to come to my house and do a scenario to see who that's gets not to the having his back. Do I, you know, how is it not having his back by also jumping having, up? How is that having his back when you y'all both going up there? Y'all both get shot. And then who watch the kids? So, so how is that not having his back if I'm jumping up with him? I think they think they think this shit is Y'all have grand like or something. They think that they get a badge of honor, like they get some extra kudos for the don't forget the kids. Is this grand I mean, but, but where in history is it said that a woman can't jump up first in in protect but the house? Where is that in the Bible that says that? It's a, it's an order. Hey, right. no, 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 savage, savage, savage. savage. This is why. Where in the Bible this does is it say why. That? This is why you can't argue with women when it comes to like, for example, when I'm men so glad men, I'm a woman though. Men put men participating in women's sports. I think y'all should let them niggas beat them the fuck up. Then they're going to want to shut the fuck up. And Why y'all ain't advocating for... No, nah, you tough. Advocate for your goddamn self. I think that we should let... Listen, stop trying to protect women from themselves. Let them crash the hell out. Crash all the way out. Let them, let them deal with the consequences of their actions. They're never going to learn trying to pull them along. You got to let them suffer, bro. We, we got to stop chasing these women. And we don't even give a fuck if y'all go and talk to somebody else as far as another race. Like, we just got to go where we appreciate it and not where, not where we tolerate it. And there's so many other women that, that be willing to replace y'all. Yeah, all look. of this all of this tough talk shit, that shit is wild, man. That shit ain't it, cuz. She, she, said, she said, where in the Bible it says God, man, woman, child. What does that mean? Y'all came from the ribs of a nigga. You know that? You on my side. That's slapping range. God, do you something. <laughs> what? I guess I'm just trying to understand why why is it that purely because black men are not doing what you think black they should women? be doing, you now have to place this judgment and label on them like that. Like, why can't it just be that you disagree? Karen, because historically, black men have been under the leadership of women for the last three decades. Not, not three decades. Yeah, three decades. How? Wait, that 30 years. What, what's a year? Yeah, three decades. <laughs> how how have they been in a relationship with women because we've been we've been raised by single mothers you do what your mama say oh. you, don't, you don't question it that is absolutely true that is 100 true come on now you could you come for us in the 50s the 60s why you think they're doing it now oh you for sure couldn't put it back then they was hitting stay. yeah it was over with. yeah my granddad he was knocking it out he was yeah he was boy he was doing it but didn't y'all just say that you couldn't be led by a woman? But you just said y'all just no, 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 no. Listen, we under it's it's not even led. It's just programmed. Right. At this point, it's hey, look, programmed. Like you just said, the last thirty years being led by women. Look how the look at the state of the black man. Look at the state of the black woman. The only reason they got the kids is for the child support and food stamps. They know they're struggling. They still won't give the baby to the best provider. So if it's single mother's fault, right? Absolutely. And you guys are blaming single mothers and um, it's the way men are now. It's because of single mothers. What are, what, what's the solution? The Stop solution is, single mothers? listen, because when I run for president, one of my policies. Let the ego go. Let I'm ego go. showing each other respect. No, 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 no. You got to incentivize the families. Just for staying together, just as much as you incentivize the families for breaking up. That's one of my policies when I run in 2028. So listen, 
the same way when they break up, y'all give them child support. Now we need to be giving them an extra uh, kickback on their taxes for staying with each other. We need to be giving these, the, the people that's trying to do it together, they need to be getting tax breaks and credits versus the people who are out here trying to do it by themselves. See, it's just the incentivized to break up with them. I can leave that nigga because Uncle Sam got my back. You can be fake independent. Yeah, but it's not always the woman leaving the man. These men leave the women that they have kids with all the time. I, mean, you know, I ain't saying it's the nigga. Right, no, nah, it's the women. Women, they leave most wait, so, wait, wait, wait. So you're saying that no man has ever left Chris his Brown, family? Chris Brown, no man has ever left. Wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. just, walk, just walk with me now because I hear what y'all saying. We get it. But then it, it, it needs to be incentivized on both ends because men will literally procreate with a woman and bounce as soon as the baby is born. We need to, we need to be uh, also encouraging men to not only stay with the woman that they have children with, but maybe not lay down with a woman that he's not married to, that he has no uh, wow. That's not plan sense. to be. Wow. True. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. Or has no plan to be in relationship with making sure that he doesn't have a child with them. So nope. it's like, while, you, while you're correct, sure, there are, there are certain types of women that may be incentivized to just have babies by men and lean on Uncle Sam or whatever the case y'all you, you discuss. But there are also a lot of men who have been socially programmed to believe that if I have a baby, I can just walk away from it. Jazz, that go on do it. Policies. Jazz, check this out. I'm a, I'm a dead beats on both sides is what I'm saying. Okay. In the curriculum, the new curriculum for my DOE agenda, we go yeah. have to educate these men on what postpartum is and what it look like. See, the problem is the woman don't know she's suffering from postpartum and the dude don't. He getting neglected. You over here, you you, you doing them bad. So now he leaving the baby because he think you don't love him and you just not understanding your body. So we gonna, we, we, we got to go to the Department yeah. of Education, put that mm -hmm. curriculum, and then we got to get some real understanding about what this postpartum stuff is. I agree. I think, I think that's smart, too. I'm I think, proud of you by saying that, like that. Listen, I really do like that because that, to understand each other on that type of level will help for, for couples to stay together. I actually really fuck with you. Okay. Here's, here's, here's one thing he left out, though. A lot of times these people getting pregnant, they weren't in a relationship in the first place. They were just for fucking. And then they kick him a baby, and now he leaves. It seemed like he left the whole thing. Really, it was just fucking anyway. But the postpartum part has a big part because that mouth. Yeah, or, and then or and or also, feelings. yeah, and also I think it will help if two people that are just wanting to have casual sex, they need to do everything in their power to prevent an unwanted pre pregnancy. If uh, the, the re responsibility falls on both sides, if I'm a single woman and I'm out here just having sex, I'm going to make sure I'm taking some type of birth control. I'm using condoms because I'm having casual sex sex if you're a guy that is just out here hanging and swinging it wear a condom be be proactive so you don't have to be reactive there, nah. we, we both can, you, you can prevent the, these things the problem nah. is the man's the only one who get in trouble for that casual sex yeah see inside my inside my you said the man only get in trouble for having you don't casual know, they only got to face punishment for the casual no. sex we, we, we got to have, we got to have how, how, how so when how how so Okay, who who will get the kid when the baby comes? Who gets who gets well, the automatic right? The mom. Yeah, well, but, that's like that. it, but that's but that's. It used to be like that though. You know but that, right? Here's the thing, but that's if you aren't together. If you are in a relationship with a person that you laid your seat with, you wouldn't have to worry about that. And that's yeah, my and that's my getting point. Getting punished though, y'all both not together. Y'all both did wrong by not being married. Y'all both no no no, no. There, there's there's punishment that lays on both sides. If we have casual sex, right, and mm -hmm. I end up being a single mother, that's a punishment. If I if I if I'm bringing a world a, a child into this world without being a, under the covering of a family with my husband, that's, that's the punishment. Crazy. Because that's now crazy. because now I have to go back and forth with just uh, raising this kid with a man that didn't even want to you know marry me or no, take me that, seriously. That's punishment. Man, jazz. That's a societal punishment. Okay, right. that, that's not a real punishment. If you don't care what society think, then you're not punished. Let me tell you what it looked like because this is why I don't like Kamala. Y'all jack single mothers all the time. They, I, I don't, this why the time. I don't like Kamala policies right here because now y'all want to vote for uh for Kamala just so y'all can kill kids instead of having the, yes instead of having to raise the baby with no choice like men been doing for the rest of our lives. What do you mean killing kids? That's why a lot of women are voting for for y'all body. What y'all call that shit? The body of. Are you talking about abortion? Yeah, re reproductive, reproductive rights. rights.
You don't think women should have full autonomy over their bodies? And the listen, if, the listen, I do. But Jazz, let me tell you, who ain't have full autonomy of their bodies. Us. How listen, so? Because let's say I got nothing you, and I don't want the baby. Guess who ain't get? Guess who can can can, can decide who gonna keep it or not? Well, you, you got, don't want the baby. What do you gotta do with well, you? Guess who still got to pay for it? Me. No, if, if you don't want yeah. the baby, yeah, if you don't want yeah. the baby. If you don't want the baby, to can you say that to the woman? Then it's like okay. You don't have to deal with the baby. You don't have to pay for it. Y'all get How? the y'all get the adopt the baby for free. Jazz, you do know that it's dudes that don't even that know that that's not their kids. That the woman have put his name on a birth certificate, and he is still required to take care of that kid, or he goes to jail. Okay, that's a different story. He's talking about. Oh, it's him a lot of guys woman. out here. Well, that, it doesn't you can't have financially by default. You cannot financially abort the baby. You know that. What I'm saying is this, his situation was this. He decided, he says he didn't want to have a kid, but yet he still nutted in a woman, which will result in a pregnancy. But that, right? but that has, so, no, 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 no. Listen, no, but that's listen. What we're talking you're, about you're, you're, mi you're misunderstanding it. No, I'm not. Both, you're, both, you're talking yes, about something yes, different. Yes, you are, because you're not letting me, let me even explain to you how you're misunderstanding it. I'm not misunderstanding Because both of y'all, both of y'all are past the point of no return now that that baby is inside of her body. At that point, she still has the option to do what she wants to do. He does not. Okay, cool. And so gotcha. we can always go and say, well, all of us should be proactive in what we do. But what the argument, is, the argument is, is that men are not afforded the same privileges as far as determining what happens with that child as the woman is. And okay, so sure. You're absolutely right. So what 2K was saying, he said, I don't want the baby, right? Correct. If that woman, if she, if he tells that woman, hey, I don't want this kid. My thing is, if that woman is like, okay, and did, and still decides to have that baby and, uh -huh. and says, hey, you don't want the kid. I won't involve you in this kid's life. Then no, what's the issue? Hurt. But at any point, at, at any but, point, uh, at gets, any point. Gonna, uh, no, 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 no. Listen, listen. This is a fact. At any point, And this is why, even if they're not married and y'all just in a relationship, and he's taking care of his kid at any point that woman can go back and say, Hey, I want to file for back child support. Okay. They will come so, after him because she can change his, change her mind at any point during that, that okay, child's I see, life. I see what you're yeah. saying. So I think the solution is let's take every preventative measure. So we don't end up in that situation. Yeah, but we know because, that. Because, 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 because that's the not the, the day, argument. Sex, because that's not the, the, that's not the argument. Yeah, but no, but the we, thing is that sex doesn't have to always end in pregnancy. We're so moving the goalposts. Why can't we K have protected two K's sex? Point, two K's points was about reproductive rights. It and wasn't we should about, have that. It wasn't about being proactive. Right. Okay. So that's cool. You want to make that argument. But the point is, is that it, it's not equal on both sides. That's okay. his, that's the argument. So it's what would you what, what would you like to see? What would you no, like to see to make right it equal? Now it's equally unfair. I think if y'all don't got what no, would make it fair? It, it give us the options. The, the same option y'all got to get the same y'all got to get away. So is there not an option to use the condom? Because you said you just willingly nutted in a girl. So why won't you nut in a condom? You, right? you allow him to go inside you without the condom. Wait, but I have, but oh my God. Two I take so, so when does you your ignorance and hers pick up? I mean, so no. you can't say no, you can't have sex unless you got a condom on? Absolutely. Um, are, are you we kids? But even as a man, even a, absolutely, the woman, I said it takes two, sweetie. But I said the woman, I said the acknowledge woman, the fact that it's not fair shows you how okay, biased so what women are. What and having, fair, no, 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 no. It's not about what, listen, he says we're not arguing, we're not arguing for fairness. Y'all missing That's what Cage just said. It's not equal. What would make it equal? We're not arguing for fairness. So what are we arguing? First, the first thing we want you to do is to acknowledge the fact that y'all have it. Y'all have more rights than we do when it comes to certain things. But y'all keep on That's true, though. We don't even let that. me finish your fucking sentence. How y'all going to acknowledge something and you ain't even hearing all, everything that you I'm saying? You just asked me to acknowledge it. I said, I acknowledge you got it. it. You got it. You got it. It's cool. Okay, thanks. So, like I said, um, we understand that because men who created these laws have put those laws in place for the benefit of women or whatever, what have you. All I'm saying is, hey, before we even get to that point, so it is fair, let's both do our part 
to prevent unwanted pregnancy. Just yeah. like I'm a woman who can say, I don't want to have unprotected sex because I'm having casual sex. A man can also say, I will not have unprotected sex because I don't want an unwa unwanted pregnancy. That's all I'm saying. Let's both, okay. let's both do our part. That's it. Sure, we have the privilege, but we can prevent all of this. Even though what you're saying, I hear you saying at the end of the day, y'all are the receiver. So yeah, I hear what you're sure. saying, but you still cannot allow if you see the man don't have a car. I just right. said that, baby. I just said I know, that. but it's, yeah. still, it's still more it's still more power on your side. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Like, absolutely. Our side of that is right. So that, okay. that that's the point. Okay. That's, okay. The point. Okay. that's the point. That's the point. Exactly. To be honest. Back to my are so crazy. No, to be honest, you already acknowledge that we're y'all at a disadvantage, though. Listen. So why, why? So if you're in such well, a disadvantage, point, why even play like that? Yeah, yeah. So that no, that's the point. If y'all men are so a disadvantage, right? right? Let's say if I was a man and I know how these women are moving, right. I know these women can catch me up. They can get a baby on me, put child support. I think that would be more careful in who I'm having sex with. Y'all still missing a point. It's not a point. We're not missing a point. Because, right. because, because, look, 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 look. We already look. know that. We know Men that. Men are not focused on whether or not you got the advantage or not. You missing a point. Said, you just said to the acknowledge point, the advantage. Now the point, the point is, the point is, a woman, a woman can bypass everything she can possibly do in order to not get pregnant. Correct. And even if she bypasses all of that. She still has the power to, to, to gain something. Listen, listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, 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 don't keep on going back and forth. And we already know, we already know that we have the choice. We already know that we have the choice of whether or not to get you pregnant. That's not the argument. And that's why I say y'all keep missing it because y'all keep arguing the moot point. The, the conversation that we having is, I'll, I'll give you an example. If all of us, if 99% of the population of men decided to strap up and not have no more kids, guess what? 1% of the population will populate every last one of you motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. and, and guess what? The culture is going to still be fucked up because it's going to be a bunch of baby mamas, even though 99% of all men have strapped up. And so your power and your leverage and your privilege can still fuck up an entire culture and y'all still won't acknowledge it. And instead, y'all will be saying, why ain't more men starting to be baby daddies because y'all need to do what's best for the culture? What? what? And, and so, my, so my point is, is that reproductive rights is just empowering y'all to create more chaos instead of holding y'all accountable for the decisions that you make. Because again, y'all don't hold women accountable for being single baby mamas. Y'all just then to turn around and say, like you say all the time, these women ain't gonna listen to us. They're not. Okay, well, here's the thing. But y'all made I feel, single I feel baby mamas. Y'all never want to exactly. stand up and yeah. look in the mirror I'm and so take so credit you know. for what you I, do. You never I, want to call your own people to the carpet for what you do. You okay. like you sound like all women have all issues. Like, come on, like we taking enough from y'all. Come on, you sound like y'all like, like, like we wake up and want to be. They want to be. Y'all do, like do take enough. We take it all. And y'all, y'all eat it. You don't know about none of that. You don't know about none of that. You don't know about that. You don't know about that. You don't know about that. Look, first off, how you kill all that, the baby mom thing. Nobody up here fucking virgin. Are there any baby daddies on here? Any baby mamas? Mm-mm. So listen, so since we talking about reproductive rights, I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, so I'm going if I put a quarter in you and the baby pop out, that's really my month me uh that's really my baby. All mm -hmm. right. So if, if we talk about reproductive rights and we want to get down to the nitty-gritty, just give us our kids and get the fuck out of the way. You don't well, that's not what you said earlier. Yeah, we carried them first. I think I think they're they're what they're trying to get at is that we need to change the reproductive rights. But since we don't have a collective to do that. I think me, Jazz, and, and Jamisha is saying, men choose better who you sleep with. Or but strap think, up. Yeah. The main thing, the main thing the main is thing that, that we, need we already that. know that. Yeah, we right. know that. That's That's not doing it. What's wrong not with home? Right. What's wrong with home? You're right. You're not doing it. <laughs> What's wrong not with home? We doing it. Most men. men most men. Y'all try to put a small minority of men in the same category. Y'all doing that with women. What? I know. Y'all put y'all put a small minority. You've been around right. long enough to know that it's a, it that it's a minority of the men that's populating the majority of the women. And you know this. This is not mm -hmm. something that's new to you. So please Drop miss me fact. with 
Men yeah. need to do this. We already know. And when we don't, we get held accountable for it. And if we don't do it, then we go to jail. That's okay. a fact. Okay. Well, it's a fact. To either, to, like I said, to avoid all of this, let's just You know what y'all do when y'all fuck up? Y'all get incentives. Y'all get, just, get a, a proposal for $6,000 for some new baby seats from y'all from y'all proposed president. <laughs> 